It's February 1st, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report, news for people who code and stuff. Everybody loves billionaires, but for some of us, that love can go too far. Recent polling data indicates that Elon Musk is the world's most popular billionaire by a wide margin, but he's been having a rough week. Not only did he lose billions of dollars in net worth, but a college student named Jack Sweeney from the University of Central Florida created a Twitter bot that tracks the location of his private jet. Elon, fearing for his safety, slid into the 19-year-old's DMs. The world's richest person offered him $5 million, or no, I'm sorry, $5,000 to take it down. Most teenagers would bleep if Elon asked them to, but apparently this kid is some kind of alpha gigachad and counteroffered with 50k and an internship, but Elon declined. What an idiot! And now you're hearing about it on my channel because the Streisand effect is in full swing. The story got picked up by the mainstream media, and the Elon Jet Twitter account has grown by over 100,000 followers over the last couple days. Some people call this guy a stalker or extortionist, especially because Elon only has one private jet, unlike most billionaires. Like Jeff Bezos recently went to the COP26 climate summit in his private jet to lecture us about how we're destroying the environment. But he has multiple private jets, making it much harder for stalkers to track him. Bezos also has a $500 million mega yacht, while Elon doesn't have a yacht at all. So Elon kind of did this to himself by only having one mode of transportation. I realize he's saving up his money to go live on Mars, but now everybody in the world knows how to track November 628 Tango Sierra. But how does a 19-year-old figure out how to track a private jet? Is Jack Sweeney some kind of coding genius? Well, the code is on GitHub, so I did some investigating. It's written in Python and uses the Open Sky Network API to track the unique transponder of the plane. This is a really cool API because it's free and made possible by a huge network of people who relay data to the system from all over the world. Flight track is perfectly legal, and there's all kinds of different apps that rely on this data. In the code, he tracks the plane's altitude and position every few minutes. Then there's an algorithm that will look for changes from the previous position to determine a takeoff or landing event. In most cases, the plane is just on the ground, but when a takeoff or landing event occurs, it uses the Google Maps static API, or takes a screenshot with a browser, to generate an image of the plane's current location. It then uses both the Twitter and Discord APIs to post that content on social media. It's a pretty clever way to take public data and and turn it into interesting content on social media. If you want to see a full Twitter bot tutorial on this channel, let me know in the comments. This has been the Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.